Law enforcement is calling on state representative Jesse Johnson to take back a statement that he made online, calling it inflammatory and divisive. Tonight, Johnson defended his remarks in a comment to King 5. Callie Greenberg is live in our newsroom with the details. Callie. And Greg, this is all part of an ongoing conflict between law enforcement and the state legislature rooted in policing laws that have passed over the past few years. Don't do it. In response to this video put together by different sheriff's departments across Washington, State Representative Jesse Johnson entered a conversation on Twitter defending policing laws he sponsored, saying, quote, the legislature did what needed to be done and some police got angry because their culture must shift and they can't go around killing people. It was particularly surprising to have him put such words in writing. Teresa Taylor is the executive director of the Washington Council of Police and Sheriffs. It's one of several groups calling on Johnson to retract that statement. I would like to see him acknowledge that uh, his terminology was uh, not consistent with uh, a person who has a desire to see community and law enforcement come together. Law enforcement wants to see House Bill 1054 reformed. It restricts when police can pursue a suspect in a vehicle. Johnson has defended the law. It's not going to increase public safety to put it back where we had before um, by any means. In 2020 alone, we had 18 deaths from pursuits, which was the second leading cause of death from police violence. And that decreased by 55 percent last year because of the bill. So I think it is doing what it was intended to do. However, law enforcement argues vehicle thefts and break-ins have increased. There's not a day that goes by that we don't have um, violent criminals that are fleeing from us. Um, and it's hard to apprehend them. Chelan County Sheriff Brian Burnett is the president of the Washington Sheriff's Association. He says Johnson's Twitter remarks went too far. I mean, that's that's never more offensive than anything. We're out there to save lives, not 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 kill people. In a statement to King Five, Johnson defended his stance, saying in part, changing a long ingrained culture is no small task. However, it is vitally important to create true public safety. We're, we're going to hold the we're going to hold those who wrote these policies and pushed them through and voted for them. We're going to hold them accountable. In the statement, Johnson said the Sheriff's Association chose not to participate in creating the laws. Uh, Sheriff Burnett said that was false. In fact, he said he testified in front of Congress. Now, the two police groups I spoke with and Johnson, they all told me they're hoping to work together on future police reforms. Johnson has not publicly retracted his remark. Live in the newsroom, Callie Greenberg, King 5 News.